Dear President Martens, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, uh, thank you for inviting me to speak uh, in uh, this forum and to um, you know, discuss uh, Latvia's experience uh, dealing with a financial and economical crisis and uh, also what of this experience could be uh, relevant to the uh, Europe where we uh, also know that there are still some issues and challenges to be dealt with. So uh, uh, just a general information, uh, as you know, Latvia is a small uh, country with just over 2 million uh, inhabitants, member of EU since uh, 2004. To look at the uh, Latvia's uh, economic performance since uh, regaining independence in 1990, uh, one can uh, clearly see uh, two uh, periods. First was just after we regained the independence when uh, uh, we lost almost uh, half of the output uh, during the uh, transition from socialism to capitalism, and indeed the uh, and indeed this uh, uh, recent crisis was also uh, the uh, second biggest crisis since regaining the uh, independence, when uh, between 2008 and 2010 we lost more than 20% of the output. Uh, in between, we had had uh, also a couple of uh, crises, like banking crisis in 1995, or implications of the uh, Russian crisis during the 1998 and 1999. But uh, certainly, the recent crisis of 2008-2010 was uh, by far the most severe crisis we had to go uh, through in uh, uh, recent times. And as you see, it was uh, followed. Uh, 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 it was following a period of rapid economic growth, uh, which uh, speeded up after Latvia joined the EU in 2004. And for several years, we indeed had uh, double-digit economic uh, growth. Unfortunately, this uh, economic growth was uh, unbalanced, so uh, substantial imbalances in uh, economy built up. And as a result, uh, we uh, were uh, getting ever more uh, uh, problems which were not uh, being addressed. If you look at the, uh, some macroeconomic data, you see that, for example, uh, budget expenditure between 2004 and 2007 doubled in three years' time. Uh, wages were growing in some years some 20-30% per year. Uh, imports also almost doubled, uh, which, was, which is worth noting that amount of the credit of economy between 2004 and 2007 increased almost four times. But unfortunately, it was not put to very uh, productive use. As a result, we were running huge current account deficit at times exceeding 20% uh, of GDP. Uh, we were running high inflation in 2007, reaching double digits. Uh, so uh, really one could see that we, uh, we de developed a huge uh, real estate uh, bubble, construction boom, and it was uh, all made worse also by pro-cyclical fiscal policy, even while having this double-digit economic growth, balanced, uh, budget was not yet uh, balanced. So we accumulated huge imbalances during those years, and with a global financial and economical crisis, in 2008, it all came to the uh, sudden uh, stop. So uh, the immediate problem started uh, after the collapse of uh, Lehman Brothers, where we also had to uh, uh, nationalize our second biggest commercial bank, because it was una unable to refinance its syndicate loans. And that was a moment when also Latvia had to turn for IMF and uh, international lenders' uh, help. Uh, because we were effectively cut off the markets, we had a very easy credit during the boom year, and then no credit at all uh, in 2008. And uh, that was a moment when we uh, had to request this 7.5 billion euro rescue package from IMF and the uh, European Union. 
So uh, what we uh, choose as a, a strategy is really to uh, deal with the uh, public finances, to uh, stabilize the financial situation of the country, to maintain the peg of the LUTs to Euro. And uh, uh, President Wilfred Martins mentioned this as an easy uh, way or easy option. Uh, well, I must say we were analyzing quite seriously uh, what the implications of the devaluation could be. And indeed, we found that the social cost of devaluation would be, if anything, bigger than doing the austerity program or internal devaluation. Uh, because we are a very small and very open economy, so one at whatever competitiveness gains we could get through the devaluation would be almost immediately lost through inflation. We would just run up the prices. And moreover, if you think uh, of the situation when a country is having a large budget deficit, as Latvia had in 2008, 2009, also 2010, uh, then... Uh, devaluation per se is not helping uh, with a uh, budget deficit. And uh, given also the situation that uh, more than 80% of the loans in the economy were in euros, it would also mean a huge insolvency problems for many people and uh, uh, companies. So uh, as a result, we decided to stick with our currency exchange rate and to go for a real structural reforms uh, uh, and real adjustment uh, instead. 